Are you a business owner that could use just one more customer? Those empty tables, vacant appointments, idle employees, and expired merchandise are missed opportunities. What if there were a community that connects you to high value and motivated customers, giving you a competitive edge in the marketplace and increasing your revenue? Introducing Partners One. You keep doing what you do best, taking care of your customers, and we'll do what we do best, sending you new customers to take care of. Call us today to find out how Partners One can work for your business. Welcome to The Rocket Right Show, starring Hurricane Betsy Barnes and Dr. K. Solar, two busy blondes with their fingers on the pulse of all things Louisiana, events, health, leisure, entertainment, and more. It's The Rocket Right Show, and now, here's Betsy and Kay. Laissez le bon temps, Louisiana. We are going to have some good times in 2021. We just need to leave some of the, you know, not as good times in 2020 behind us because it is a new year and it seems like times they are a changing. So we have lots of things that we want to share with you this year. Um, one of the things that we've really enjoyed is sweater weather here and it actually has snowed in part of Louisiana, Mississippi and across so the south. So crazy, but we didn't yeah. get it. Yeah, we didn't get so, it down here in the the southern part, but North Louisiana. Yeah. Who would have known they're so north? They're so northern up <laughs> there in Shreveport. They're so north up That's there. Right. They got snow. <laughs> That's right. But you know, new year, new topics, new guests, and a lot of new things to learn and enjoy. And you know, Mardi Gras is not going to look like Mardi Gras. And it's so early this year. It's I did very not early. Realize. It's I mean, very it's, it, early. We're barely getting through Valentine's Day. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. So we're excited to come to you every week from the Partners One Studio uh, in the beautiful capital city of Baton Rouge, Louisiana, sharing the people, places, things, and their story behind the story from people all over the state. So we just thought, since this is the first time that we've been back in the studio together, we would just sort of share some of our thoughts, impressions, some good things. Coming Coming up, some good guests that we have planned. And, Absolutely, and yeah. uh, you know, I missed I missed hanging with y'all last week, but we missed you. Had you. A great girl show. We you did really have a did. great girl show. Yeah, we with did. A, a lot of folks that are moving and shaking. That's right. Amy mm -hmm. Sup with Partners One. We always appreciate her. She loves to connect I, people together. Yeah, I, I yeah. watched and and are going to try to get more organized. You had your oh Alyssa, Alyssa Trostclair. Yeah. Oh my gosh, she really is pretty inspiring. I really think I just want to clean out every single closet and drawer and everything. And she's a Partners <laughs> One member, but she is really just an inspiration. So I would well, encourage people. Well, you know, people. that's a lot of people's New Year's resolutions is to get organized. That's frequently on yeah. people's resolutions list. So, so that was a great segment, you know, to watch. And um, y'all talked about your resolutions and things that mm -hmm. people were, were doing. And I think looking back on last year when people saw, um, you know, it was so hard on everyone. Yeah. Uh, physically, I mean, emotionally, uh, their business financially financially and 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 we and talked I with like, Tiffany Norrington also about getting your finances in order and I think that you know that's a topic that we're going to be sticking with for a little while here as 2021 starts out on a healthier you for 2021 mm -hmm. whether it's personally professionally emotionally spiritually financially and all of those can go for you your personal self are you your business? That's right. And uh, talk with a lot of experts in the coming weeks and months uh, to help everybody get their 2021 off to a better start. And I think a better start by being inspired. So to, well, we today. We learned a lot yes. from 2020. I think yes. a lot of times you either realize something you didn't have in place, something you needed to do, uh, something that you should be doing on a regular basis to mm -hmm. keep yourself healthier, to make you less likely uh, mm -hmm. to develop disease. And I think there's a lot of things that people like went, oh, wow, I really need to, to do this. Yeah. And so this is the time to reflect on that 
mm-hmm. and put all of those parts in motion for 2021. And I think we just need to kind of boost each other up. And, you know, I don't know if many of you remember the Debbie Reynolds movie way back called The Unsinkable Molly Brown. And she had a song in there and it was, I ain't down till I say I'm down and I ain't down yet. Well, I say that for our city. I say that for our state and I say that for our nation. Notice the red, white, and blue. We are very proud to be Americans. And our country is going through a lot of changes and a lot of mm-hmm. difficulty in relationships and the way we speak to each other and listen to each other and things like that. And so I just think it's important for us to stay inspired. And I really think that our guest today are inspiring people. And so I'm very excited um, that later in the show, we'll have Brandon Foreman, who has three different publications, including Baton Rouge Parent Magazine, 30 years. He's done some amazing things, but he shifted his business in some different ways. So we want you to hang with us to uh, meet Brandon if you haven't, but he is a mover and a shaker. And then we're really excited. Last week, we introduced you to Alyssa Carson, who is NASA's youngest blueberry. She is Mars Jen. She and her generation of astronauts will be going to Mars. And she was just incredible. And so we're going to introduce you to Chaselyn Jane King. And she is very inspiring. And she is a young Louisiana musician. She's a singer songwriter. She's beautiful. And her music is very uh, heartfelt. And just she represents us so well. to go back to college we're going to hear what yes. her first semester in college was like and she's heading back we got her on the show she's so just young. in time before she starts that yeah. next semester so yeah. that's going to be coming up in the and show and then talk about people that inspire mary bird perkins so our lady excited to celebrate wow 50 years 50 of taking care of folks years. in the baton rouge and surrounding area and really places that come people who yes. come to baton rouge for their care uh and really looking forward to talking about that and see what they're going to do over the next 50 years so saving lives changing lives improving lives and cancer research you know a lot of people don't realize that really mary bird perkins is a premier cancer research and treatment facility in the country they're they're doctors and their researchers and everyone that's involved has been recruited from all over the country so you're going to get the best care right here in Louisiana excited and so we're excited this, we're this excited big, we're going to share uh, all about the 50th anniversary with you and yeah. um and you know Betsy one of the things you know when we're, when you're, you were saying you know um you know just make things better and stuff a lot of the things when you look when I looked at what could help make uh people a healthier you a lot of those things are just things from within that's right and a lot of those things include building a strong social network mm-hmm. and and so we're one of the things that we, we, we like doing is yeah. introducing folks to folks that may inspire or change their lives that maybe mm-hmm. they don't know about uh and uh i think that's a great thing and we're going to be hosting a few meaningful things meaningful each day yes you know uh, think good thoughts for others and i know you do that all the time i do so. i do i i um I don't know how people who make it, I don't know how people who do not pray make it because that's where, that's my source of strength. You know, I can always turn to that quiet time with God and that's what works for me. Everybody, some people do meditation. Some people have different things that they do. Whatever you you do, Mm -hmm. you've got to be able to have peace with the silence. You've got to be able to do that. And keep your company with good people. Okay, well, so we I'm going to keep you around for a little bit. Okay, I'm, I'm going to keep you around for a little Six bit. Six years so. and going strong. <laughs> That's right, for sure. And one of the things are like, avoid news overload. I think we've had a little bit of news overload. Yes, we've had I a mean, little news overload. Know, you only need to really overload. watch one channel because it's just the repeat on all the different channels. Um, yeah. It's, yeah, we have heard enough about COVID. <laughs> we've had enough I, I really of a don't, lot of things. We're yeah. going to like look for all the positive things that are going to come I don't uh, want to hear the word unprecedented as, again. Right. There are some words related to COVID that I don't I'm okay if we just don't like use new it. normal. Okay. New normal. Let's, there is no such thing. Yeah. You know, yeah. you can only count on change. Change is the only thing that you can right. really count on. That's right. And um, I'll be happy when we don't get the daily death count, uh, that there won't be one. 
and that you know there won't be a daily new case count and all that we really need to well, hope and into, pray that yes. this is resolved this year and we can get back to some sense of balance we'll say that instead we'll of say, new normal yeah i like that balance yeah fair so, and balanced yeah yeah and fun and fun and oh fun. my gosh Please what did we do when we fun, used to Betsy. have fun <laughs> you know we used to have fun and we would go listen to live music you know and, i really and thank goodness that. that's coming to us tonight so. that's right <laughs> so we're gonna Look, have that up isn't that isn't that a shame we have to go to such links to have a television and radio <laughs> show so we can just get a little live music and not break any laws that's and right then sit, like you know six feet or more apart i mean so we're going to great lengths to entertain ourselves we know you are too and and our listeners as well because you right. know, everybody's had to go virtual so they're okay you know watching this and then um mm -hmm. when we can when we can go about and uh we're and gonna the blow the room. doors off i just want you to know it's not going to be anything quiet but we have a few things in the works in 2021 yes, we can't we tell do. you too much because they're like in the works mm -hmm. but we're going to be doing some networking events. We're going to be doing yeah. some live events yes, with, when we, when we can with other women. Come back mm -hmm. out live. <laughs> yeah, business owners. Uh, We're going to have know. a little music, a little yeah. more music, and then a little more music. So, yeah. uh, so you need to stay to tuned. Expanding the, the, the show, but yes. make sure stay put. We got that live music up next with Chaselyn. And then uh, lots more on the show to go. So we want you to hang with us for the entire hour here on Rocket Right. And if you want to be the first to know what we got coming up mm -hmm. in the future, make sure that you check out our website at rocketright.com and follow mm -hmm. us on our Facebook page at Rocket Right Entertainment because mm -hmm. we're going to have some entertaining stuff for everyone. And YouTube too. Rocket oh, yeah. Right Entertainment on YouTube. And we'll be right back. Well, I'm Amanda Shaw. We all know Louisiana is as fun as all get out. So get out, take a road trip, and explore everything Louisiana has to offer. Fill her up and try a new restaurant that's as fun-loving as it is food-loving. Grab family and take off for monumental adventures at our 21 state parks. Or take a magical minivan tour along our 19 scenic trails and byways and rediscover the character and characters that make our state a lot like nowhere else. Louisiana is a trip. Take one today and enjoy a close by, far from ordinary adventure that's sure to feed your soul. This is Lieutenant Governor Billy Nungesser. Plan your road trip at louisianaisatrip.com. Slimshot is the most in-demand injection in medical weight loss and we are pleased to offer it at Cosimetastetic. This safe and effective injection helps boost your metabolism, supports increased energy, burns body fat, and reduces appetite. These shots can be taken safely once a week or as needed when your weight loss is at a standstill. Slimshot combined with touchless lipo treatments produce a powerful one-two punch for targeting that stubborn body fat. Since the early 1800s, the Selassie family has played a significant role in the retail industry in Louisiana. Stuart Selassie has achieved the Certified Diamond Graduate designation from the prestigious Gemological Institute of America. What that means to you, whether it's appraisals, design, build, repair, or diamond sales, you have an expert you can count on. At Selassie's, you make all the right choices. Selassie Jewelry and Fine Gifts, in the heart of the Denham Springs Antique District. Find them on Facebook. Are you a business owner that could use just one more customer? Those empty tables, vacant appointments, idle employees, and expired merchandise are missed opportunities. What if there were a community that connects you to high value and motivated customers, giving you a competitive edge in the marketplace and increasing your revenue? Introducing Partners One. You keep doing what you do best, taking care of your customers, and we'll do what we do best, sending you new customers to take care of. 
Call us today to find out how Partners One can work for your business. Hi, I'm Dr. Ron McMorris of Elite Chiropractic in Livingston Parish, conveniently located off the I-12 corridor in Walker and Albany. If you suffer from sciatica, migraines, or other pain conditions, give us a call to see if we have a technique that best fits you. We have multiple techniques, including chiropractic adjustments, massage therapy, dry needling, rehab, and much more. Again, I'm Dr. Ron McMorris with Elite Chiropractic in Livingston Parish, Walker, and Albany. Hi, I'm Tony Acor with Southern Airs Auction, Dental Springs, Louisiana. We've been professional estate liquidators for over 30 years. Please take time to join us for our weekly online sales on Facebook. If you need help, hit us up. We are often imitated but never duplicated. www.southernairs.com or Facebook at Southern Airs Auction. Five hundred, but a good four, but a good three hundred, a good two hundred, a good two two. I got a hundred and a half, hundred and a half, one seventy. Where else can you take the trail less traveled at a pace all your own? Where else? Escape to one of Louisiana's twenty-one state parks for a picture-perfect getaway. Where else can you be a world away and this close to home? the Rocket Right Show. I'm Dr. Case Eller in the house with Hurricane Betsy Barnes and as we promised you some live music we have with us Chaselyn. Yes ma'am. Thank you for joining us Chaselyn. Thank you so much for having me. So we caught you just in time before heading back to college (laughs) Mm -hmm. and so Chaselyn is going to tell us a little bit about that experience because she just finished her first semester of college. Tell us where you're going. Uh, I'm going to the University of Southern Mississippi. Okay, and that's in Hattiesburg. It is. And, and how was that as a freshman starting in a new place, in a new city, to college? Virtually. Virtually. <laughs> with, COVID, with all the COVID guidelines going on. How, how was that? <laughs> it's very different. Um, I don't know what anyone's full face looks like because there are always masks on them. Um, but honestly, I kind of feel blessed that I'm going into it as a freshman because I don't know any different at the moment you know this is what college is to me I've never known college to be anything different it's a good attitude that's a good attitude because you know if you were a junior and you were used to having all of those events and uh, uh, sorority and fraternity get-togethers and and things and there was like nothing exactly I know it's a big adjustment for all of them and they're doing such a great job of coping with that you know it's been rough for everyone but Mm-hmm. And, and you did pledge a sorority. I did. So I, I, Omega. Yeah. <laughs> and so I, I know in chatting with you, that was, that sounded really crazy because you think about people going to the houses, they meet everybody and it's this process and that was all via yes. Zoom. Exactly. I can't even imagine. Yes. Long days. I believe on the first few days of Rush, we completely crashed the system and <laughs> all there Zoom, were so many people on I the computer. I think we had over 300 girls Rush. And so all of us in the dorms on Zoom, the internet just crashed one day. <laughs> It was wild. That would be, it'd be hard with everybody trying to talk. Yeah. Everybody's trying to get on. Everybody's trying to talk, get their turn. I guess they made they appointments. They probably interviews. like muted you if somebody like, <laughs> too much. they're like, okay, enough for you. <laughs> it was interesting. The, the thing on Zoom is now they have breakout rooms so they can put you in smaller groups, but it still is odd. You don't feel as welcome to just speak up because you might cut somebody off on the internet. It's just so confusing. Well, you're, you're headed back for Uh, your second semester Mm -hmm. here in a few days and is there any changes um, that they have uh, told y'all are pretty much status quo unless uh, like the rest of us just waiting to see if there's going to be new guideline Mm -hmm. changes y'all still hanging the same as last semester yes ma'am we're all kind of in a limbo of of waiting to hear if there's been anything no one's reached out or said things are more open or anything like that but um It'll be a readjustment. And the one thing about college that I didn't fully understand is you change classes every semester, not every year. Oh, so God. I have a complete <laughs> new thing of classes to do online. So it's going to be crazy. But So I'm it, where did you graduate high school? Um, I did high school online, okay. actually, which I feel like definitely prepared me for yes. this whole experience. Um, yes. and I'm very grateful for that advantage. Yes. Um, but I did University View. It's a Louisiana charter yes. school online. I am familiar with it. A friend of mine is a teacher. Really? Mm-hmm. I loved it. It mm-hmm. was so great and just really allowed me to focus on music. And I could travel if I needed to. There was no, you know, unexpected excused absences I just brought my laptop and it worked so when did you start 
your musical interest and journey because yes. you've been singing and songwriting for a while. Yes, ma'am. I um, My mom put me in theater when I was six. And so I fell in love with all aspects of it, but really the music part is what stood out mm -hmm. to me. And we started voice lessons. And I thought I was Broadway bound for most of my childhood. But um, when I was 16, I was contacted by an American Idol producer. And that kind of really flipped my whole career path. Mm -hmm. And I came home in 2018 and wrote my very first song when I was 16. And um, since then I've written just over 50 songs. Wow. Um, and I now want to be a songwriter and I want to have a publishing deal and that's really such a different direction from what I knew as a kid and so so if you're watching and you're part of a publishing company <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, and, and Chaselyn has played the Third Street Songwriters Festival yes, and, I love and beautifully it. And several I got to see other the festivals that are uh, yes, around our state yes, uh, we have a great Since music community here we, we really, really do. do our buddy's very supportive right. and uh, that's great. And you've made some trips back and forth to Nashville, too. I have. Yeah. Oh, I love I love Nashville. I love it. I hope to end up there, you know, especially once COVID dies down and things get back to some sort of normal. Right, so because they're Nashville. all like, you know, nobody's even uh, working at their offices in Nashville. And most of the rights are Zoom rights. Exactly. Um, still and so it's very hard if you were yes. just moving up there to like be in that situation exactly. it's hard enough when you've, when you've been <laughs> right. there but you've been doing some shows virtually yes. mm -hmm. and you told me that uh you're doing a lot on twitch I am. and since Betsy twitch and are, being are a old <laughs> okay, I'm gonna speak. I thought out, Twitch when you said she I does Twitch. I thought you meant like she had a Twitch in her eye. I had no idea that was an app till we just okay, were Betsy, sitting you're not here. Supposed to say that? So. No, I'm serious. I really didn't know. I said, you know, I, I just said, I, I said, today I didn't I, read the latest app of I said, the day. She's been twitching lately. I, I know, and I really thought you meant like twitching, like yeah, like she has a Twitch. Tell us about Twitch. Okay. Um, you know, uh, <laughs> how is it different as far as your your live streaming from? Facebook and Instagram and those things that people started out at the beginning right. of COVID on right, those right. platforms. Yeah. It and is a whole different world. I started out in the beginning of quarantine doing some Facebook live shows. Right. Um, my mom and I kind of put together this little show um, called Chaseland 19. It was great. And I loved it. I, I thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. And um, I think around May, June, we looked into Twitch and I got on, it's a streaming platform, um, which was originally a lot of gamers and the music community has started booming lately. And um, I'm going to have to hook this app up. It took a long time to kind of understand the world that it is, but the community is something that I didn't expect to find as welcoming and as warm as it was, but it's full of just incredibly talented people who genuinely want to support each other, you know, and build one another up. And um, it's also full of just music lovers who just love to sit and listen and interact. It's very interactive, um, which has been really fun too. Kind of gives you that sense of having an audience, mm -hmm. you know, there's something about playing to people in a room and this is the closest thing we can well, get to right now. Well, let's talk to, about playing to people because we don't want to run out of time chatting. Uh, what are you going to play for us? Um, I'm going to play a song called Dreams I Forgot About. Um, I released this right in the beginning of quarantine because I just felt like the message was something that had really calmed my heart whenever we went through everything in the beginning and I wanted other people to hear it. And um, it's just about not fretting over the things that you can't control, you know, and, and not wasting your time, yeah. you know, filling up your mind with all of that stress. That's a very good so, thing. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, we're ready whenever you are. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> I could cry and try to make you stay I beg you on my knees, don't walk away But if I have to force you to stay with me It's probably better you just see I look into your eyes with the color of the sky And I kiss it all goodbye Don't stop to wonder why it's over No, I don't need closure mm. Cause at the end of the day, this is what I know Troubles in life shouldn't bother us so If we focus on the past, we'll walk right past an open door And at the end of the day, I'm not gonna pout 
I dwell on all the dreams I forgot about If we focus on what we missed, we'll miss even more And oh, I could wish to kiss your lips once more I'd go back to the way it was before But I finally learned that I don't have time To be in love with a boy that doesn't wanna be mine I know the time will pass, it'll all go by so fast We were meant to last, I am now and we were past It's ended, and I've mended at the end of the day, this is what I know Troubles in life shouldn't bother us So if we focus on the past, we'll walk right past an open door At the end of the day, I'm not gonna pout Or dwell on all the dreams I forgot about If we focus on what we missed, we'll miss even more and oh, I know what people say It ain't the end of the world, baby And I know the saying's cliche But it's something you need to learn Cause at the end of the day This is what I know Troubles in life should bother us So if we focus on the past We'll walk right past an open door Cause at the end of the day I'm not gonna pout Or dwell on all the dreams I forgot about If we focus on what we missed We'll miss even more And oh, mm. Wow, I love that I love that. That was yes, fabulous. Yes, absolutely. That was. Could awesome. you just fall in love with her voice? I mean, thank you, thank just you. that is very inspiring. I appreciate. And very it. heartfelt. Very just yeah. um, wonderful lyrics and beautifully performed. Thank you. So we only have thirty seconds left. <laughs> Tell us. What's next for Chase and real quick and where do people find you to follow? Yes, yes, yes. I have a new single coming out next month in February um, called Shades of Pink. So I'm very, very excited. That's all coming together right now. Um, and if anyone wants to find me, my website is chaselandjane.com and you can find all my social media links there. That's awesome. And we'll right. share that link on yes. our social media too. Thank you. Thank so you. I'm really glad that you could come. Thank you so much. Thank what a great, so much what a great And thought. whenever you can come back and debut that next one, well, it won't be a debut because oh, yeah. it's going to be out because you're going to be in school. We'll all wear pink <laughs> in honor of it, right? We will. <laughs> we will. Come back. Come back and be yes. on our show again. We'd love to have you. Thank you for that. joining us. Thank you so much. So, Chaselyn. So, and up next, Mary Bird Perkins celebrating 50 That's years. That's right, 50 wonderful years. So hang with us. We'll be right back with Rocket Right. Since the early 1800s, the Selassie family has played a significant role in the retail industry in Louisiana. Stuart Selassie has achieved the Certified Diamond Graduate designation from the prestigious Gemological Institute of America. What that means to you, whether it's appraisals, design, build, repair, or diamond sales, you have an expert you can count on. At Selassie's, you make all the right choices. Selassie Jewelry and Fine Gifts, in the heart of the Denham Springs Antique District. Find them on Facebook. Rocket Right Radio with Hurricane Betsy Barnes and Dr. K Solar is grateful for the sponsoring businesses who make our show possible. Partners One, Better Barter for Baton Rouge. Selassie Jewelry and Fine Gifts. Advantage Health Solutions and Dr. Boyd Michael Helm. Mary Bird Perkins, Our Lady of the Lake Cancer Center. Hightower Dental Concepts and Dr. Leah Larson, Citigroup Hospitality, Laura Sue Events and Marketing, Southern Airs Auctions and Tony Acord, Louisiana Women in Business Magazine, 
LouisianaTravel.com, LouisianaIsATrip.com, take one, and Dr. Danielle Causey with Causey Aesthetic Medicine. Thank you for making our show possible. I was diagnosed October 19th. I immediately started with a multitude of scans, and then I was having an eight-hour surgery. My biggest concern was my family and being able to see me come home every day and know everything is going to be okay. I felt comfortable that I was being treated by some of the best. There were some scary points along the way, but um, it's just kind of like been a little blip in the road. Money, wellness, fun. Rocket Right Radio takes you all across Louisiana and the nation with guests who live life to the fullest. I'm Hurricane Betsy Barnes. I'm Dr. K. Solar. You're going to love it. Join us every week when we cover everything under the sun. Live and learn with the Wright sisters. Politics. Health. Music and entertainment. Local Lagnet. Rocket Right Radio. You're going to love it. Hi, I'm Tony Acor with Southern Airs Auction, Dental Springs, Louisiana. We've been professional estate liquidators for over 30 years. Please take time to join us for our weekly online sales on Facebook. If you need help, hit us up. We are often imitated but never duplicated. www.southernairs.com or Facebook at Southern Airs Auction. 500, but a good four, but a good 300, a good 200, a good two, two. I got 100 and a half. 100 and a half, 170. y'all, I'm Amanda Shaw. We all know Louisiana is as fun as all get out. So get out, take a road trip, and explore everything Louisiana has to offer. Fill her up and try a new restaurant that's as fun-loving as it is food-loving. Grab the family and take off for monumental adventures at our 21 state parks. Or take a magical minivan tour along our 19 scenic trails and byways and rediscover the character and characters that make our state a lot like nowhere else. Louisiana is a trip. Take one today and enjoy a close by, far from ordinary adventure that's sure to feed your soul. This is Lieutenant Governor Billy Nungesser. Plan your road trip at louisianaisatrip.com. And you're back with the Rocket Right Show, and I'm Dr. Case Lauren in the house with Hurricane Betsy Barnes. Mm -hmm. And our medical segment is brought to you each week by Mary Bird Perkins, Our Lady of the Lake Cancer Center. And we're so excited that they are celebrating 50 years. 50 years. And we have with us today Jody Conakin, mm -hmm. uh, who is the Vice President of Marketing and Communications with Mary Bird uh, Perkins, Our Lady of the Lake Cancer Center. Thank you for joining us. Absolutely. We're very excited to be on. Yeah, I know a lot of folks, we've had docs on mm -hmm. for guests and, and folks who listen regularly, uh, uh, know about Mary Bird, but if somebody's listening, just tell them in general, just a little snippet about what a powerhouse. Right. Uh, that's a great <laughs> way to call it. it. What a powerhouse. Well, a powerhouse. It is. Right. Uh, and I think we have this jewel in Baton Rouge that not everybody knows about right. um, because we, you know, we serve Southeast Louisiana, we serve Southwest Mississippi, and we built ourselves out of this community-based program um, to include these wonderful partners. As you mentioned, Our Lady of the Lake Hospital. So here in Baton Rouge, Mary Bear Perkins, Our Lady of the Lake Cancer Center, Center just serves this huge population and does amazing work. And then since then, we've added in Women's Hospital. And so we yes. have just fabulous partners, not only here, but across the area. So it's been a great, great 50 years. And we've grown to nine locations now. Yeah, I know. That's amazing. Um, so since opening, how has Mary Bird paved the way forward for cancer care in the community people you know when they when they are diagnosed with cancer they think oh i'm probably gonna have to go off somewhere yes. and then they're gonna be away from their loved ones and stuff sometimes they don't realize like you yeah. said it's a jewel it's right here mm -hmm. and they can get all their care yes. the latest technologies and still be close 
and have that family uh, to take care of them and support. And and when we were founded, we were founded by a group of community members, philanthropists, who mm-hmm. wanted to make sure that in our community, you could have excellent care without leaving the area. And that was the foundation 50 years ago, right. what we opened to. And since then, with our partners in place, we've become this comprehensive institute where you're seeing you know, clinical trials, the latest technology, multidisciplinary teams. I and mean, there's just this plethora of combined efforts by scientists, physicists, oncologists, surgeons who come together to surround our patients with just amazing care. Well, so in the 1970s when it began, there wasn't the same diagnostic um, technology Mm -hmm. and also it's very expensive even then Mm -hmm. for your family to travel with you somewhere to be able to have the accommodations and meals and everything else Mm -hmm. and it's just the most stressful time. And I think what we've seen too is when you look at the research, being able to have your support system close to you right. is goes beyond, you know, as far as helping in that recovery process. Mm-hmm. So keeping people here in their community, knowing that they're getting excellent care that's comparable to anywhere in the nation. Right. Um, we're, we're doing programs here. We have a, a program with the LSU Medical Physics where we train the next generation of physicists here in Baton Rouge. We've actually had that's one awesome. or two on yes. the show. And mm-hmm. they're amazing people who are doing um, you know, ev- revolutionizing like our the care. icon gamma radiation knife. Is, Absolutely. Am I saying that correctly? Gamma knife icon. Okay. Yes. Mm-hmm. You yeah. have got all my words, words mixed up. up. <laughs> but it was okay. phenomenal. And we've yes. even had some of the patients that have been treated successfully who right. have come on the show and talked about their experience and how much all of the different areas of care that they received meant to them. Yes. Some very tearfully. Yes. Very gratefully and very tearfully because well, they, they felt like they made it through. Mm-hmm. And, and it really is about providing precision therapy so that we preserve healthy tissue, mm-hmm. which is what the Gamma Knife Icon does for mm-hmm. people who have tumors in the brain. Right. Things that we used to think were inoperable. Now we can treat mm-hmm. them and people have a solution. And it's one of the only machines in the region and it's right here in Baton Rouge to take care of mm-hmm. our community. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so we're looking to the future. We've had 50 great years mm-hmm. and look into the future. How does Mary Bird plan to approach innovative treatments? Because, you know, mm-hmm. they have been on the cutting edge yes. of everything. And like you said, clinical trials offering the latest. Mm-hmm. Um, is there anything that, yes. you know, Always. We know about. <laughs> is there anything nobody's is there been anything that we told don't know yet that, that we should, that you know. We should know about? I, I mean, there's so much on the cutting edge. Yes. And, you know, I, I think in one, I have to step back and say, you know, in 50 years, I hope I don't have a job, right? I hope that we've cured right. cancer and Wouldn't it's that irrelevant. Yeah. Wouldn't that would Gosh, be amazing. We, we hate cancer. And But I think right now what we're seeing is the innovation in artificial intelligence, using big data, precision therapy, yeah. um, real-time innovations in therapy treatment. So we're updating the therapy and optimizing as we're shrinking those tumors down. So there's amazing things on the horizon. We have some great partners who are coming with together with us to help make these things a reality. So I I just, it continues to evolve. It's a fast changing environment. And fortunately we have Mary Bird and some amazing scientists and oncologists who are on the cutting edge of, of making it better. Well, and, and, and the, the technology, the, the care is fantastic, but there's there's so much more that is involved in patient care yes. mm-hmm. as for as some of the services that, that the community has provided. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, uh, can you speak to that a little Absolutely. bit? Yeah. I, we started by talking a little bit about how this community came together to fund and develop Mary Bear Perkins. We are in so many ways funded by philanthropy and community support. And one area that we get a lot of support from it for is our outreach services. Um, mm-hmm. And they we provide screening services in and around the community. It was founded with the idea of going into communities of colors and underserved communities and making sure that these individuals had access to high quality screening services. So that way we're finding cancer when it's most treatable at those early stages. And we've seen hundreds of thousands of of people throughout the duration of this program and found cancers when they're early, early in the process. So it's an amazing program, which we then have translated into the workplace. Yes. Obviously that's a little different right now with COVID and, and, you know, we're not going in, but we are still kind of reaching out to our network of workplaces 
because when we start to come back together and into those workplaces, one of the things we provide is going in and screening employees in their own space where we set up in a facility, in a conference room, or if it's a large space, bringing in our mobile coach to take care of people. Mm -hmm. And it's been amazing because these are people who have insurance and who could technically go to their local provider and get a screening, and they're not. Well, part it's of amazing. it is they don't want to take the time to go. Right. Um, their business sees it as a benefit of keeping their employees healthy. And mm -hmm. when they don't think that they have to make the time, the effort to like go, and it's right there, right. then they're more apt to, to do it. It's but absolutely. Can't use the excuse you know. I have to work. Right. You know? <laughs> right. Right. The boss is sending you down the hall, That's like, right. and, and yeah. we screen for five different cancers, some of the most treatable if we can find them early. Yeah. So it's it's a great program not only for the free services offered in the community, but when we team with our different employer groups to make sure that we're taking care of everyone in their own space where they're comfortable. And yeah, generationally, it's important because sometimes if someone has cancer, it could also have markers in their family. So it's important right. to know and diagnose to help their family. Absolutely, and we've seen um, within the workplace, again, they have insurance where more than half of them have never been screened before. And they you know, they're, uh, have all the indications related to age on just routine screenings they should be getting and they're just not getting them. To your point, right. they're like, oh, I don't have time, I have other right. things, it's probably not gonna happen to me, but better safe than sorry. It just gets put on the to-do mm -hmm. list for another day and gets kind of moved on down the road. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. You know, a couple of the things that we've really enjoyed and guessed on the show were um, about Rock the Spots, about oh, some yes. of the doctors coming mm -hmm. together to be a, you know, a band and entertaining and having mm -hmm. an event to raise money and awareness, but also then also doing studies on how cancer and COVID are intertwined. Mm -hmm. And there's been a few people and one I know right now that had COVID and right. that led to the discovery of her breast cancer. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, it's just odd how just Mary Bird is everywhere and right. they're just offering right. every opportunity mm -hmm. for people to get healthy. And we're, you know, we're taking all the necessary precautions with the pandemic, um, right. masking, um, cleaning, um, set, scheduling appointments, everything we can do to make people comfortable and be as safe as possible. But also understanding that, you know, cancer is a very serious disease and we want to make sure that we find it when it's most curable. Absolutely. Because we know a lot of people because they were afraid to get out mm -hmm. and everybody's and, touched and by at cancer. The beginning of the year, yeah. there was a lot of people who were not going in to right. see their physician for their regular screen. And we talked about that, that some of those cancer rates may go up, not necessarily because there was an increased right. incidence, but because they weren't diagnosed at the time that they would have because of people going in for their regular screenings. Right. Just so, delaying those screenings a absolutely. little too long mm -hmm. um, when it makes it a little bit more difficult to treat. Right. Um, our outreach team, I, I commend them for being able to pivot very quickly and get where people could book appointments and putting the cleaning protocols in place. So all those things right. help. And, and also our, our partner, Women's Hospital, over the Breast and GYN Pavilion, they've been very instrumental in, in going out and doing mammography at the same time, mm -hmm. doing the same protocols again and trying to make sure that we're still screening our population mm -hmm. and, and giving them great care. Yeah. So Mary Bird has, I mean, has grown incredibly mm -hmm. during these 50 years. So are there plans or what are the, I'm sure they're going to continue to grow mm -hmm. over you, the next 50. We're in, in nine locations and um, that's with partners like our Lady of the Lake, as well as women's, as well as in other areas of the, the area and the country and the region. Um, and to your point, we're, we're nationally recognized and regionally right. not recognized. And some of the programs and clinical research we've done have actually made their way around the world. So um, I think we're going to continue anywhere we can be that impacts the health of a community, anywhere we can be that improves survivorship and lessens the bur burden of cancer. That's mm -hmm. where Mary Bird's going to be in the future. And I, I I have to always go back to it comes from this amazing community support we give where our donors get involved and they hear the stories of, of screenings and they hear the stories of innovation and clinical trials and they get really excited about being part of that cutting edge technology and making sure that innovation stays at the forefront of what Mary Bird Perkins and Mary Bird Perkins and Our Lady Lake is doing. Well, we don't have much time left, so tell people if they want to learn more, where do they go? They can go to marybirdlake.org and learn more. Uh, we are going to be celebrating our 
of 50 years for the entire year. Um, so there's lots of, lots of great content. We're telling the stories of our donors and our patients and our doctors and lots more to come. And, and we we'll want have to see, you back. Yes. So we've been talking yes. with Jody Conakin with Mary Bird Perkins, Our Lady of the Lake mm -hmm. Cancer Center. Thank you for joining us today. Yes, thank you. I appreciate come it. Come on back. Share the news. celebrating for a whole year. <laughs> That's right. And we want to join that celebration. Right. Absolutely. And up next, Bets. We are going to have Woo. Brandon Foreman with Baton Rouge Parent Magazine. But it's not just one magazine. It's actually a much larger, broader number of different things that are done in and for families. And we just look forward to sharing that with you. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Dr. Ron McMorris of Elite Chiropractic in Livingston Parish, conveniently located off the I-12 corridor in Walker and Albany. If you suffer from sciatica, migraines, or other pain conditions, give us a call to see if we have a technique that best fits you. We have multiple techniques, including chiropractic adjustments, massage therapy, dry needling, rehab, and much more. Again, I'm Dr. Ron McMorris with Elite Chiropractic in Livingston Parish, Walker and Albany. Some call it joie de vie, the joy of life. In Louisiana, it's our way of life. From music that shakes up your senses to food that wakes up your palate. That joy vibrates in every note we play and spices up every meal we serve. So come live life to the fullest. Come one, come y'all, come feed your soul in Louisiana. I'm Sean Ardway inviting you to plan your trip at louisianatravel.com. Slimshot is the most in-demand injection in medical weight loss, and we are pleased to offer it at Causey Metastetic. This safe and effective injection helps boost your metabolism, supports increased energy, burns body fat, and reduces appetite. These shots can be taken safely once a week or as needed when your weight loss is at a standstill. Slimshot, combined with touchless lipo treatments, produce a powerful one-two punch for targeting that stubborn body fat. Rocket Right Radio with Hurricane Betsy Barnes and Dr. K. Solar is grateful for the sponsoring businesses who make our show possible. Partners One, Better Barter for Baton Rouge. Selassie Jewelry and Fine Gifts. Advantage Health Solutions and Dr. Boyd Michael Helm. Mary Bird Perkins, Our Lady of the Lake Cancer Center. Hightower Dental Concepts and Dr. Leah Larson, Citigroup Hospitality, Laura Sue Events and Marketing, Southern Airs Auctions and Tony Acord, Louisiana Women in Business Magazine, LouisianaTravel.com, LouisianaIsAtrip.com, take one, and Dr. Danielle Causey with Causey Aesthetic Medicine. Thank you for making our show possible. Where else can you take the trail less traveled at a pace all your own? Where else? Escape to one of Louisiana's 21 state parks for a picture-perfect getaway. Where else can you be a world away and this close to home? Since the early 1800s, the Selassie family has played a significant role in the retail industry in Louisiana. Stuart Selassie has achieved the Certified Diamond Graduate designation from the prestigious Gemological Institute of America. What that means to you, whether it's appraisals, design, build, repair, or diamond sales, you have an expert you can count on. At Selassie's, you make all the right choices. Selassie Jewelry and Fine Gifts, in the heart of the Denham Springs Antique District. Find them on Facebook. I had a meeting with Dr. Barfield and it kind of just hit me. It probably is cancer. After the surgery, I wasn't scared anymore. I was looking forward to getting started with chemo. Not one time that I get a nurse in a bad mood. I was here for five hours at a time and I did not dread coming. To get people from around the country to come to Baton Rouge, and that says a lot right there. That this is a place that's cutting edge. Welcome 
back to Rocket Right. We are so glad that you're here. I am Betsy Barnes here with Dr. K Solar and a wonderful guest we want you to meet. If you don't know him already, you need to know Brandon Foreman. He's the associate publisher of Baton Rouge Parent Magazine, 30 years. But right. Brandon is really like many businesses and many Partners One members, because you're in the Partners One studio, he yeah. has really taken his business to a little bit different level. So um, we wanted him to share that with you because he's got some innovative ideas that we think might help inspire you. And it could be something you might want to partner with Brandon on. So you had the three publications. We have three publications. We mm -hmm. have Parents Magazine. We have Inspire Health Louisiana. And we also have Pink and Blue, which is for new and expecting mothers. Mm -hmm. So we've done those for this June, uh, July will be 31 years. So we've been busy doing it yeah. for a little bit, uh, sharing the news. It changes every, seems like every six months, you know, is it baby face down or face up? Which way does it go every time you <laughs> yeah, turn around? You're a trailer. It's, it's, <laughs> That's for sure. You can't keep up. So right. we try to do what we can to be a resource and help people. Yeah. So. so you have a tech background. And so one of the things that I found fascinating is that you are actually doing kind of a virtual tour of schools to help new students that are coming into schools. We did. We, my background, I've done a lot in tech and also been involved, obviously, with the magazines. But we started looking at how can these schools, you know, show what their campus, what they've invested in and how parents can see and how often do you really get dad to show up on campus, right? Or, you know, can they look at it? So we went and found a bunch of technology and found ways. And we've got, you know, most of the schools in the area where you can actually go walk through the campus as if you're there. You can look up, you can look down. It's not just a picture where you kind of spin your head around like you're on a stick, but it's you're immersed inside the space and they've yes. got things that they show you and point out and videos that are part of it. And That's it's been very cool. It's been amazing to see just the amount of traffic and people that we see when we look at it, how many people are just kind of looking around the schools. So. And so you also have the What's What BR podcast, which we have been blessed to be guest of. We do. We started that up. Uh, that was a, originally I started it and was just going to kind of kick it off and get it going to somebody else. Mm -hmm. Nobody else will step up. Um, <laughs> so how did you come up with the name? What's, what's what? what? It's... <laughs> We, we it started it was like a facebook group that we originally started and i started calling and we started this in march you know kind of when the shutdown happened okay I'll, so take note businesses this is how a little bit of here and a little bit of there i mean you made a kind of a gumbo of we, all these different things that you know how to do to launch different areas of business to be able to capitalize on what you already knew so i yeah, think it's so, fascinating yeah it was just a finding a need and to answer the question i was sorry, we would call people or i'd get on the phone and be like what are you doing What's next? What's just going to happen? What's happening? And it was just, we kept in asking March, what. Nobody knew. Nobody knew what was going on. Everything yeah. was changing. Yeah. So we said, what's what, you know, BR? And we just kind of said, this probably won't last that long. And I think we're now almost to 100 episodes. And we've yeah. had people all across the state jump on. And you have crazy. people internationally listening, nationally listening, people that are just looking for podcasts that like it, that maybe somehow have been attracted to either things about parents, people that are leaders in the community, um, people that like to talk to other people, uh, you know, <laughs> just a variety of people that are doing a variety of things and kind of bringing that to them. And you were really very hospitable to us. You made it very easy for us to talk to you. And I think that people want that kind of content. That's what we've tried, what I've tried to do with the mm -hmm. show is just what we're kind of doing here. It's just talking. And I think that's genuinely mm -hmm. what people want. They don't want anything spun. They just want to hear what's the story, you know, what's happening. And, you know, you know, we try to step through the show and we'll say, you know, what do you want people to know? And then what can we do to help? Yeah. And it starts conversation. Yeah. So, so, so as a Partners One member, you've also partnered with the Storefront Project BR mm -hmm. through the Front Porch Project yes, and then <laughs> shared that on the Baton Rouge Parent Magazine website so mm -hmm. people can see the young families that also own a business, the women entrepreneurs and some of the things that they're doing, what are the local, mm -hmm. and it's all about connecting in locally to support each other and to keep everybody's chin up and head above water, so to speak. 
um, as we try to make it through this odd time in history. Yeah, one of the things we did uh, in March, we have a texting platform that we put together with some of the background that I had. And it basically it's the you know text pizza to such and such number. And so we went and gave that out to the community and said, hey, this is what you can do when you, you know, to keep your head up, you know, how do you grow your business? What do you do right now? Find your audience, you know, get people, you know, when you make those posts on Facebook or you put, you know, social media, different places mm, out there. Sounds like something we need to do to remind people when the show's on. And you can push messages <laughs> right back out. Here's the show. This is when it's starting. We're going, you know, it goes on live now yeah. or it might be just different information. You have to go where your audience is. You yes. know, we can't just keep doing the same thing. Otherwise, you know, we're not all on MySpace anymore. Right, we no, you know we, we migrated, and right. I've, there's a lot of people who aren't on so Facebook many anymore. There's a lot of people who aren't on the same old platform anymore. They're at, finding new ways to communicate, and this is another way to communicate. It's you've got to move where you know they are. I can remember having meetings with people saying, you know, look, y'all really look at this Facebook thing. There's something you know to it, and they'd be like, no, we're good, you know, yeah. and it's. Whenever you say, no, we're good, that usually means, I don't understand it. I'm afraid to try it, and I, know, I don't know enough I know, to make Betsy, a decision. It means that you're twitching, right? Your That's eyes right. Twi your That's eyes right. Twitch. Like the Twitch app. Did you hear the Twitch app? Uh, you it, probably did, because you're techie. Uh, I try to stay. I, I, I know the social, but I can't do it. I can't, I, I'm not the, I can't take a picture of my food and put it out there. You know, I don't think anybody cares what I'm really actually up to. Yes. We think we think people do care what we're up to. I do so love know. taking pictures of my food. My husband will say, "Please, please let me eat it and just don't take a picture of my food." I, it, it kills me. I go. I remember a couple of years ago we were leaving. My wife and I were going on a trip, and we were on a cruise, and we're going, you know, back, backing out of New Orleans, going down the river, and I'm get, starting to get texts from people. Have fun on your trip. What's going? On? I'm like, I didn't tell anybody I was going on a trip. How? What? And she's like, I just looked at her, and she's like. Oh, yeah, I did take, I posted that picture of us as we were leaving. I'm going, I, I don't need We this. can't even sneak out of town. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, well, we want to have you come back. We want to talk about some of the ways that people can connect with some of the newer technology right here in Baton Rouge with a locally owned and operated business mm -hmm. that's been vetted yep. through the Partners One Network. How long mm -hmm. have you been a member? Uh probably maybe a year you know yeah. something like that not too many people you know we, we do a lot of business you know with partners and we think the organization is great I actually met with them you know today I had two meetings with them so we worked with it and I think it's they've got a lot of good things going on and the more we can you know help with more we would love to that's right yeah so if you're just tuning in you have been listening to Dr. K Solar and me Betsy Barnes with Brandon Foreman he's the associate publisher of Baton Rouge Parent Magazine how can people find you Easiest way is brparents.com, or they can give us a call. Call us at the office. You can find the number there. I'm happy to jump on a phone call with anybody. It's If I could say anything, it's, it's work. It's what we all signed up for. It's going to yes. take a little bit of work to get some yeah. stuff done, but we're here to help you, you know, navigate the ways and tell you, you know, you can try this, you can look at this, but we just want to talk to you and you know, help you out, see what That's you can right. do. That's right. Network, network, network. We're all a network of holics, and we're really thankful that you could come. We really look forward to I learning, appreciate you learning and applying some new things, and so we appreciate all of our sponsors. We appreciate you for being here with us, and just remember, if you're going to mm -hmm. rock it, make, make sure you rock it right. right. Woo! We'll see you next week. Since the early 1800s, the Selassie family has played a significant role in the retail industry in Louisiana. Stuart Selassie has achieved the Certified Diamond Graduate designation from the prestigious Gemological Institute of America. What that means to you, whether it's appraisals, design, build, repair, or diamond sales, you have an expert you can count on. At Selassie's, you make all the right choices. Selassie Jewelry and Fine Gifts, in the heart of the Denham Springs Antique District. Find them on Facebook. Are you a business owner that could use just one more customer? Those empty tables, vacant appointments, idle employees, and expired merchandise are missed opportunities. What if there were a community that connects you to high value and motivated customers, giving you a competitive edge in the marketplace and increasing your revenue? 
Introducing Partners One. You keep doing what you do best, taking care of your customers, and we'll do what we do best, sending you new customers to take care of. Call us today to find out how Partners One can work for your business. 